Braves Tease, Wednesday, May the 1st. And we're your host, Zoe. And Yatseli. Welcome to the KYMS News Show. Today is the 152nd day of school and we just have 26 days to go. I hope those days pass by fast. Remember, as Braves, we will always be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and always, always be here. Now it's time for the attendance. Our challenge word is teacher in honor of teacher appreciation next week. Not this week, but next week. Sixth grade ha has received 97%. Seventh grade received 95%. And eighth grade received 94%. So now sixth, gr sixth graders have the letters T-E-A-C. Seventh grade has the letters T-E-A-C-H-E. And eighth grade has the letter T. Seventh grade is in the lead with sixth grade trailing behind us. They're like getting to us. Come on, seventh grade, we can do this. Be one here more. every day. Just one more letter. Remember, testing is not over. When you miss a day, you miss a lot. In school news, yesterday was a big day for our very own KYMS technician, Alejandro Borges. He had his braces removed yesterday. He He's sporting his beautiful smile today. Congratulations, Alejandro, a.k.a. Super Rufus 09. Now, in city news, do you remember back in February, our president, Donald Trump, came here for here to El Paso for the MAGA rally? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. He had like a, a pep rally, right? Yeah. Well, the Trump cam campaign owes the city of El Paso more than $470,000. This payment was due April 26th. But the city of El Paso is still waiting for the half million dollar payment, although the, camp the campaign did pay for the venue, which had a cost of $5,000. Here is the following list of some expenses that needed to be addressed, such as Department of Aviation, which was $6,286. Fire Department, which was $6,630. Health Department, $528. Streets and maintenance was six thousand and four hundred and fifty-two dollars. The Sun Metro was fifteen thousand five hundred and seventy-seven dollars. The police department was three hundred and eighty thousand nine hundred and forty-two dollars. And this all sums up to four hundred and seventy thousand dollars the Trump campaign owes a puzzle. It's now time to move on with our KOMS news weather update. Weather update. Good afternoon, Jessica. Good afternoon, Braves. The temperatures are still warm, but not as warm as last week. Today's high will be 83 degrees and the low will be 56 degrees. There will be sunny skies during the day and clear skies tonight with slight winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow we will have similar temperatures. The high will be 83 degrees and the low will be 62 degrees. That's our weather for this afternoon. Back to you, Zoe and Yatseli. Thanks for the report, Jessica. Eighth grade interventions for math and reading will start today. That means there will be some classroom changes. Mr. May's class will report to room 103, starting today throughout May the 10th. Mr. Marcus, third period science class, will report to Ms. Gomez's class in room 143. The Imagine Math VIP 30 celebration is almost here. We want to congratulate all of our fellow Braves who completed the 30 lessons. VIP 30 members will be receiving an invitation to the event. It will be this Friday during your lunch. The celebration will include pizza, drinks, and Bahama books. You guys earned it with all your hard work, Braves. Braves, have you registered for next school year? online enrollment is happening now. Make sure your parents register you for the next school year this week. The sooner, the better. It has to be done online, so have them log into their hack account. That's the website that shows your grades. You know, everyone goes there. All they have to do is click on the update information tab. Once they're there, they make any changes if needed to, like your home address or your phone number. Then they click the submit button. It's that easy. Even if you're not coming to East Little Middle, you still need to register. If your parents need help, they can always come get school assistance. They can go to the front office and get school assistance. 
Get it done. Now and earn a free dress bracelet. Get it done, Braves. Braves, don't miss out on the free audiobooks downloads that are offered by Sync. Remember, you can get 28 free audiobooks downloads throughout the summer. So save this website, audiobooksync.com, and start, start downloading your free books. Time is almost up to order your $30 yearbook. There are only 40 left. Go to the link on our school webpage under the announcement section. Have you gotten your yearbook yet? No, but we need to order. Because they're going to go by like Especially that. you eighth graders who are leaving and might want to remember some of these memories here in Islada Middle School. Don't wait. Remember, there's only 27 days of school <coughs> left. Attention students, are you an eighth grader who wants to go to college? I hope you all want to go to college, but the Upward Bound program can help. This is a free program designed to help college-bound students prepare for the college education. Here are some of the reasons why we want to why, why we want you to be part of this program. You get admission and financial aid assistance, college and scholarship application help, preparation courses for college admission tests, career awareness workshops, math and science program opportunities, university summer program opportunities, regional college visits, and also monthly allowance, and much, much more. So basically, you get paid to be part of the program. For more information, please see Mr. Banny. We have some fun events planned for the end of the year. Sixth and seventh grade will have an end of the year dance, and eighth grade will have a field day extravaganza. In order to attend these celebrations, you must not have any discipline before them between last Friday and June the 7th. Don't miss out, Braves. There will be a free summer camp for all seventh graders. Gear Up is hosting a STEM camp June, from June the 17th through June the 28th. The first week involves a trip to the U to UTEP, and the second week is a trip, is a trip to the U New Mexico Museum of Space. Register and turn in your forms to Portable One with Ms. Romo. Now it's time for sports. News. Good afternoon, Ariana. What do we have for sports today? Good afternoon, Braves. In swimming, our Braves had their first meet last week, which was at Marty's Robbins Pool, and they did an amazing job. And their next meet will be this Saturday, May 4th, at Memorial Pool. They will go against Desert View Middle School, Indian Ridge, and Rio Bravo Middle School. In wrestling, their next meet will be this Saturday, May 4th. They will be hosted by us, Isara Middle School. They will go against Desert View Middle School, Young Women Leadership Academy, um, Rio Bravo, Del Valle, and El Dorado Middle School. In baseball and softball teams, the teams will have a game today at 4 p.m. The baseball team will go against Eastwood Knowles here at YMS, and the softball team will go against Rio Bravo. And we'll be here also. Good luck, Braves, and that's all for sports news. Back to you, Zonia Telly. Thanks for that sport update, Ariana. Now let's move on to our lunch menu. Thursday's breakfast offers collage sausage roll. And for lunch, we will have spaghetti with meat sauce, general sauce chicken, chicken bites nuggets, and a beef burrito. Now it's time for our birthday shout out. We have one brave celebrating their birthday today, and that brave is... Diamond Gonzalez! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday from everyone at KYMS. It's now time for our Guess Who game. Were you able to guess which Brave was in this photo? The correct answer is we can't tell you because no one has guessed yet again. But just look at that picture carefully and listen to the following hints. Your hint, he's an eighth grader, wears glasses, is tall. He's really, really nice to everyone. He wears joggers every day. And it, he's an R something. Oh, and his name starts with a J. Come on, this is, you guys should already get it. Comment on this video with your guess. The winner will receive a shout out on our next show. So pause this video, look at the picture, think it through, and, come and comment with your guess in the YouTube video. Send in your childhood picture to appear in this Guess Who game to Miss Duran through Google Drive or her email. Her email is dudurang4 at yz.net. We really appreciate all of our viewers. So here's a shout out to Ram11236 Ramirez, Abri Gonzalez, and Michaela Ramirez. 
Thank you for joining us today. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on our YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date on news and events around the school, then subscribe and click the bell button or be left out. You can also follow us on Instagram at Isleta MS and we'll follow you back. Probably. Don't forget to bring your IDs and Chromebooks charge every single day. Remember, Braves, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. See you tomorrow, Braves. Bye, Bye Braves.